We're now going to celebrate <coughs> excuse me, evening prayer of the church. The evening prayer is celebrated by religious communities all over the world as we celebrate the evening prayer from the Divine Office. So we join with people all over the world celebrating evening prayer this evening. This time of prayer, this segment of prayer is for vocations, vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and perhaps for a greater sense of vocation in all our lives. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> So if you open your um, book on page 187, 187. Sorry about the music next door. So if we, if we alternate these psalms from one side of the church to the other, if we say the first verse on this side and alternate the second verse on that side. So I'm just going to say the antiphon. Our eyes are turned to the Lord. We look for his mercy. So this side of the church. To you have I lifted up my eyes. You who dwell in the heavens. My eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our eyes are turned to the Lord, we look for his mercy. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God has chosen us to be his adopted children through his Son. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. <clears throat> he destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. <clears throat> he has made known to us, in all wisdom and insight, the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. Glory be 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God has shown, chosen us to be his adopted children through his Son. The scripture reading is taken from the letter of St. James. Brothers, do not slander one another. Anyone who slanders a brother or condemns him is speaking against the law and condemning the law. But if you condemn the law, you have stopped keeping it and become judge over it. There is only one lawgiver, and he is the only judge, and has the power to acquit or to sentence. Who are you to give a verdict on your neighbour? Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. <clears throat> I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My soul magnifies the Lord, since God has had regard for my humble state. You will find the Magnificat now on the very last page of your books. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm and strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> my soul magnifies the Lord, since God has had regard for my humble state. The will of Christ is for all to be saved. Let us pray that his will may be done. Lord, by your sacrifice on the cross, you redeemed us from the slavery of sin. Lead us to the freedom and glory of the sons of God. Be with our Bishop Christian and all the bishops of your church. Grant them courage and compassion in their ministry. Help those who seek the truth to find it. Let them be consecrated in truth. We pray especially for peace in family life and for those orphaned and widowed. Comfort them in your love. May our departed brothers and sisters come to the heavenly city. There with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you will reign forever. So we pray this evening for our own intentions. And we've been receiving during the day particular prayer intentions through the Pastoral Area website. Please pray that I may find a job and use the gifts that I was blessed with so that my family and others may benefit. 
Please pray to give our daughter the strength to be independent and assertive and not fall back into a relationship that is making her unhappy. Please pray for my husband who will shortly be undergoing neurosurgery. For my mother to be happy and not lose any more of her memory. For my daughter's children to be christened. Please pray for the speedy recovery of Kieran O'Reilly. Please pray for my brother who will be travelling from Australia this week that he might travel safely. A prayer of gratitude for success in my son's chartered accountant's final examinations announced last week. For the repose of the soul of William Bill Murphy of Kipling Road, Eastleigh, who attended Holy Cross and who died on this day in 1981. Please pray for all my family to return to the Catholic faith and also for a private intention. So we ask our Heavenly Father to hear all our prayers, those prayers in the silence of our hearts as we pray for the coming of God's kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, it is our bounden duty to proclaim you as the light with whom there is no alteration or shadow of change. Enlighten our darkness as we reach the close of this day and in your mercy forgive us our sins. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Father all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. By your Holy Spirit, you anointed your only Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. With wisdom and love, you have planned that this one priesthood should continue in the Church. Christ gives the dignity of a royal priesthood to the people he has made his own. From these, with a brother's love, he chooses men to share his sacred ministry by the laying on of hands. He appoints them to renew in his name the sacrifice of our redemption as they set before your family his paschal meal. He calls them to lead your people in love, nourish them by your word, and strengthen them through the sacraments. Father, they are to give their lives in your service and for the salvation of your people as they strive to grow in the likeness of Christ and honor you by their courageous witness of faith and love. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. For it was you who created my being 
knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me, and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Lord Jesus, the ministry of, the ministry of priests is a sign of your unfailing care. Call from among us <clears throat> the priests needed for the church of today and tomorrow. Bless all students for the priesthood. Grant them joy, wisdom, courage, and a generous spirit. Sustain priests and deacons with a real sense of your love and the support of those they are called to serve. Keep them faithful to their calling. Amen. On this feast of the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let's just recite the Hail Holy Queen together. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn in, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Apologies again for the music next door. <laughs> <laughs>